what's going on everybody out there this is popular stranger and we are back at you again today with another madden 23 ultimate team video in today's video we got early reveals for part two of the theme team remix promo 34 99 overalls we're also going to talk about how to prepare to get them and what you should be doing right now now if you guys enjoyed this video if you like it if it helps you out make sure you go ahead and click that thumbs up button shows a lot of support on the channel helps the videos get noticed also if you're brand new here you were searching on youtube for my 23 content whether it's how to make coins how to get free players how to build your ultimate team you found the right channel for everything stay a while click that subscribe button turn that notification bell on as well so you guys are alerted when we drop additional videos let's get right on into it so we're going to get into the reveals in a moment and they brought out some very big names for part two of this promo I already really love the design of this, and from a theme team standpoint, it's perfect for adding new players, new 99 overalls to your squad, and with these big names, I'm kind of expecting, at least for right now, the market to potentially go up for the cards that you need to build out these 92s up to 99 overall. So just a really quick refresher. All of the 99s that are coming out tomorrow are actually coming out with 92 overall cards, and then you need theme team remix coins to upgrade them from a 92 to a 99. It should work the same way that part one did so you can obviously buy those 92s when they come out off of the auction house but if they are fairly expensive early on which they probably will be remember you can head on over to the training store and buy this pack for 28 and a half thousand training and it's a fantasy pack so you should be able to pick the 92 overall of the card that you want for example aj brown is the part two eagles theme team remix player if i needed that 92 overall aj brown and he was a little bit overpriced on the auction house i would just take the training that i have come over to this pack purchase this pack and then we can get that 92 that we want once you have the 92 of the player that you want to upgrade to a 99 you're going to need i think it's 4475 remix coins to take them from a 92 to a 99 and the best way most efficient way cheapest way to get those remix coins was buying 99 overall remix players that quick sell for i think like 4800 or 4900 remix coins basically you would get more than what you need but it was the equivalent to getting a 99 overall and as you can see these cards that were easily obtainable for 280 290 around there are creeping up into the 330 range and might even go higher because of the announcement of all of these new names so we put out a video on monday kind of letting you know this is something that could potentially happen and how to prepare so hopefully some of you paid attention you can see i have a little bit over 13,000 remix coins we want to go out and get more but we will definitely be able to get aj brown with ease because we did prepare so try not to overpay for these 99s because i'm guessing that they will come down in price eventually but the prices are going to spike up right now due to these big names let's go ahead and go through the full reveal list and we're going to start with eric dickerson like i said they brought out some really big names here tomorrow at some point and i am going on vacation uh starting tomorrow morning so we'll still be dropping videos but they might be a little bit late and not as out you know as fast as i would like them to be but we are definitely going to drop a video when the content goes live and then also a video going over the best part two players to go after so we're not going to break them down too much in this video i really just want to show you all of the cards but again eric dickerson 98 stock speed most of these cards are going to be on your theme team so it's going to be easy to get the plus two speed on them between that and the free strategy items out there all of these cards are end game cards 99 break tackle 98 trucking 98 agility 96 acceleration even the catches at 87 so this card looks really good uh then we have luke keekley for the panthers there 97 speed middle linebacker 99 hit power 98 block shed 96 zone that one looks really good he's got good height and he's gonna get lurker for zero ap remember all of the positional groups basically get the same zero ap abilities in this promo plaxico burris who's had really good cards throughout this year gets one for the giants here so he's what six foot four or six five i can't remember 98 speed deep route running 98 mid 98 short kind of stinks but he's a better outside receiver he should get deep out elite for zero ap really good looking card interesting choice by ea to give dak prescott the theme team remix card for the cowboys because if you are unaware he does have a golden ticket coming out eventually and speaking of golden tickets they will likely still be revealing those tonight even though they leaked out but we'll probably see the attributes on twitter at 7 p.m so we'll likely have another video dropping tonight so be on the lookout for that uh so dak is going to get this card plus a golden ticket 
the golden ticket's going to be more expensive, but definitely better because he's not going to be able to get the four good abilities, the God stack, right, for two AP, whereas his golden ticket card likely will. Uh, AJ Brown didn't really need an upgrade, but EA gave him one anyway. I'm not sure why. I think we would have been fine with this team of the year card to close out the year. Of course, I'm going to go out and get it anyway. 99 stock speed, 98 catching, short route running only 93, mid 97, and deep 98, spec catch and catch 98 also on this card. Moving along, Aiden Hutchinson for the Lions, 95 speed, left end, 99 block shed, 98 finesse move, 91 power move. Looks like a pretty good card there. George Kittle, another big name, 97 speed tight end, 96 run block, 95 mid route running, 93 short. He should get short in elite for zero AP, route tech for zero AP. I'm pretty sure that's what the tight ends got in this uh, promo. John Randall, defensive tackle, 93 speed, 98 excel, 90 tackle, 98 strength, block shed 99, power move 98, finesse move 98, this looks like a really good one. Another quarterback, this time it's Kyler Murray for the Cardinals. 98 speed, 98 throw power, short throw 97, mid 96, deep 98. Moving over to the next card for the Bucks, another defensive tackle, another good looking card. 85 speed, Vita Vea, 99 strength, 99 block shed, 99 power move, and 94 finesse move. And with defensive tackles, they will all get inside stuff for zero AP. Cam Jordan gets the card for the Saints, left end with 93 speed, 98 block shed, 90 99 power move and 95 finesse move. Still no Elvin Kamara upgrade for this year. It doesn't look like it's going to happen. Desmond Ritter is the Falcons theme team remix part two player. 93 speed, 99 throw power, short throw 99, mid 98, deep 94. Not very good there. It's going to be more of a scrambling quarterback. Devon Wyatt, right end for the Packers. 96 stock speed, 98 block shed, 95 power move, and 96 finesse move. Not terrible there. Cameron Curl, always a good user card. 98 speed, 99 excel, 99 zone, 97 man, 98 hit power. I actually like this card a lot. Uchenna Nwusu, I think I got that one right. Left outside linebacker for the Seahawks. 94 speed, 97 block shed, 94 power move, and 97 finesse move. Also 98 acceleration. Pretty good looking card. And then we have Cole Komet. I think this is the last NFC card. Tight end for the Bears. 96 speed, 97 catching, short route running, 96, mid 95, and only 82 run block. They just got Mike Dicka for the Bears. So this card, I mean, maybe he needed an upgrade, but for theme team purposes, not going to be helpful. Over to the AFC. Another big name. Like I said, Sauce Gardner. He's already got the team of the year card. He's got the what is he at a 97 a 98 and now a 99 that's actually pretty funny with the honors card then team of the year and now this but this is going to be one that i think a lot of people are going to go after because he should get uh deep out zone ko for zero ap and you mix that in with him being 6-3 or 6-4 99 speed 99 excel 98 agility 99 jump man at 99 zone at 98 press at 97 i mean who wants to spend 20 hours grinding for lester hayes when you can just get this card for like 300, 350K. I think we'll be picking this one up on no money spent. Looks like a really good card. Uh, Donald Parham is back as well. 97 speed. Of course, he's like, what, 6'8", 93 mid-route running, 97 short-route running, 98 catch. Should get short and elite for zero AP. Uh, moving on, Andre Johnson, another good wide receiver. Kind of similar to Plaxico Burris here. 99 stock speed, 92 short-route running stinks, but mid at 98. Uh, deep route running at 99, 95 catch. Wish that was a little bit bit better t higgins gets an upgrade 98 stock speed he has much better route running only 95 catch 98 catch in traffic and 97 spec catch roquan smith is going to be the ravens theme team remix part two player 96 speed middle linebacker 99 hit power 95 block shed 95 zone i'm thinking luke keekley looks a little bit better at the position but roquan smith doesn't look too bad uh, alex highsmith right outside linebacker for the steelers 95 speed 95 block shed only 88 power move and 98 finesse move i'm wondering will he have any type of good zone coverage because power move not being in the 90s on a 99 overall outside linebacker is definitely stinky bernie kosar is going to be the browns card notice he gets extra browns team come because this is a player who got a team diamond card only 82 speed at the quarterback position i'm just going to move along here unless you need him for a theme team not very good isaiah pacheco running back for the chiefs 99 stock speed 95 break tackle 92 trucking 97 change of direction you know, Eric Dickerson looks way, way better if you need a running back from this promo. Matt Milano, outsider linebacker for the Bills, 95 speed. 
87 finesse, 57 power move, 98 block shed. If he doesn't have like 97 zone or something, this card was a waste of creation because everything else looks pretty terrible on it. Amani Hooker, strong safety for the Titans, 99 stock speed. This one looks pretty good. 98 man, 98 zone, 96 hit power, 98 acceleration. I can't remember how tall he is. I think he's six foot even. Javante Williams, running back for the Broncos, 97 stock speed, 99 truck, 98 break tackle, catch only 81. Again, Eric Dickerson looks way better than this card if you need a running back. Juwan Bentley, middle linebacker for the Patriots, 98 hit power, 98 block shed, 89 zone. You got to get that up into the 90s if you're going to let the AI control him. And 95 speed, Jeff Wilson Jr., 98 stock speed for the Dolphins there. Trucking 94, break tackle 92, agility 96, acceleration 99, agility, or uh, change of direction 98, and then catching 87. Decent, but Eric Dickerson still better. Jelani Woods, I think he's like 6'5", 6'6", right? Tight end with 96 speed, 94 mid-route running, 92 short. Parham's definitely going to be better. A 99 catch in traffic and 99 spec catch is pretty crazy, though. Duke Shelley, cornerback for the Raiders, 98 stock speed, 97 press, 99 zone, 98 man. This one looks pretty good. Should get deep out zone KO for 0 AP. Dewan Smoot, I think we're almost done here. Left end for the Jags, only 92 speed, 98 finesse move 95 power move 95 block shed average card could be a lot better and then we do get two ltds now remember there's a second chemistry slot on these cards where again for example if you just go with the eagles and you put dallas goddard and aj brown you have two-thirds of what you need to unlock that second team chemistry which boosts a bunch of attributes um, these ltds get any of those chems so it's not any team chem but any of that second slot so with asante samuel I mean, this card looks pretty good. He lacks height there, but could be a very good slot defender, uh, whether you run a man or a zone coverage, and he would get that third tier if you need it. And then the offensive one is going to be Tyler Lindenbaum, which I don't know his abilities, but if he gets secure protector for zero AP, which I'm assuming he will, 95 strength, 94 awareness, 96 pass block, 98 run block, and he gets any team chem for that second slot. Again, not the, the main team chem, but that second slot could be a pretty usable card. And there you have it. I think this promo was a home run already and with these cards looks like more of a home run and we still got a third part to come but when that content drops tomorrow we got you covered in a video on everything you need to do but thank you for watching this one my name is popular stranger i'm out peace